everyone. This morning we're going to do some more thinking about this word, habitats. Can you remember? We were learning lots about habitats the last time I saw you at school. It's a funny word, habitat. That's it, habitat. A habitat is a special place where things can find everything that they need. They can find something to drink, something to eat, somewhere safe to hide and sleep, and they've probably got some friends and some family there too. Today, we're gonna to think about all the different habitats we can find in a garden. Come on, let's go and see. Can you remember, at school, I brought some frog spawn in to show you? Well, this is the pond where I collected the frog spawn. When I got home that day, I brought it back and I put it really carefully back into the pond. And guess what? Those eggs grew and they changed. And now, look what we've got. They're really hard to see in the pond because it's dark in there. So I've put some little tadpoles in the bowl to show you. Those little black spots that you saw grew some tails and some gills. And now they're going to swim around in the pond looking for things to eat so that they can grow bigger and bigger and bigger. Can you remember what tadpoles grow into? That's right, frogs. And there's probably some mommy frogs in here somewhere too. But I don't want to disturb them. Let's see what other habitats we can find in my garden. Sometimes, if we look underneath rocks and stones, we can find all sorts of creepy crawlies and mini beasts. Let's see if there's anything under here. Oh, look! I can see some tiny wood lice and a big wood louse. Some little slugs too. Let's put this back. They don't like it when it's very bright. They like to hide in the dark. Let's see if anything else hides in the garden. I can see something. Look! That's a birdhouse. I put it up so that birds would have somewhere safe to make their nests. There's another one in the tree over there. We can't look inside because if there's a bird in there busy making their nest, they'll get frightened and fly away. So we have to leave them still and safe. Do you know what? I bet you might have some spiders or creepy crawlies hiding in your garden. And there may even be some in your house. Why don't you have a look around and see what you can find? What habitats have you got where you live? I wonder. I'll see you again soon. Bye bye.